We're at Netstrata Jubilee Stadium, the admin headquarters for Football St George, and we're joined by Diane Fife. Hi, Di. Hi. Uh, celebrating Female Football Week for 2021. Di, we thought we'd uh, pick your brain and, and go through all your experiences about female football in the St George area. So let's go way, way back um, when you are first introduced to the game. Your father, Peter Dawson, who's a life member of Forest Rangers Football Club and also here at Football St George, introduced you to the game. Yeah, so it started with my brother wanting, coming home from school one day wanting to play soccer because he missed out on the rugby league trials. And that was when I was all of one. And ever since then, we've been involved. So uh, that's just our start. Then when I was 12, I was actually playing netball for All Saints Oatley West who were in the church comp in the soccer. And we put a netball team into the boys' soccer gala day. And that was my first real game and loved it. What was the experience like? Loved every yeah. minute of it. I didn't think I would. I was a bit scared playing against boys. <laughs> but it, we had a great day that day. So, yeah. A great first experience, huh? Yeah. Um, then uh, just a short time after, you played for Forest Rangers for a while. The following year, I joined up with Forest Rangers. I was 13 years of age. Um, no, actually, I joined Ramsgate the first year because they were desperate of players. With my dad being on the board, uh, he found out they needed players and just offered my services for me, and I went along, and I played a few games with Ramsgate back in 1980, mm. and it was an all-women's team, not junior girls, or no junior girls. No, no, then. it was a collaboration of youth and um, middle-aged women. <laughs> yes, it was. So, 1980, I played with Ramsgate, and then in 81, I went to Forest Rangers, which is the club we grew up with. Are you able to encapsulate the mood those days in regards to girls being involved, you know, in, in their own competition, but were they treated like, well, that's just another comp, don't worry about them, or was it taken fairly seriously? Um, no, I don't even know if you'd say they're treated as another comp. It was more, oh, them. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the way I felt. But I was younger. I wasn't in the, the, the middle of everything. Sure. So um, my family were extremely supportive of the women's comp. Um, so much so that the, the All Age Women A Trophy was named after my dad, Peter Dawson. So I'm very proud of that. Never managed to actually win that trophy though. That's all right. It's great to have your father's <laughs> name on, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. um, so you took a, a few years break there to start a family life? Yeah, so took time off, moved around, had my family, um, and then came back to Sydney and first thing I did was signed up to a club. So I went 1992 to, at Forest Rangers. Yes, 92 in Rangers. Um, played there for a couple of years and then the team folded so I had to find another club. I ended up at Bexley North, played there for three years and won a premiership. Uh, again, team folded. Um, played with Oatley RSL in their very first women's team back in 1997. Wow. Um, I did leave them in 98 because I had my young daughter, who at that stage was 14, but had been playing for the previous two years in the women's comp as well. Again, juniors hadn't That's started. That's right, yes. Um, and we decided to move to Peakhurst. I had a friend who'd invited me over. That so, was in 1998 and uh, started a love affair from now. Absolutely. To now. Absolutely. So, loved the club from the moment. I felt welcome from the moment I went to sign up and signing my, my daughter up as well. Well, Peakhurst United uh, do run a pretty strong female program these days as well. Yes, they do. They've still got a couple of the players from way back in 98 that we, we started that team. Leanne Smith, one of them. Yeah. yeah, Leanne is one of them, yes. So we've been friends for over 20 years now. So, yeah, um, the program has, the women's program has gotten bigger and better. They've got a lot of junior girls teams, which is great to see, including Leanne's three daughters. And, um, They've got, now got, I think, three senior women's teams, the Premier Women's League, All Age Women A and All Age Women B. So, yeah, it's been hard to catch up on all of the games, but I do try and get to see Leanne's games each week, the All Age Women Bs. So in 2008, you joined the administration here at uh, Football St George, as it was known as St George Football Association. Yes, I did. And um, from then on, I suppose you've seen the female game really grow. I have. So I remember early on, I was, I've been doing registration since I started here. And the numbers, they'd probably be lucky to be 10 to 15% were females. And this year we've, we've worked out it's 25% of 
of all registrations are females. So that's out of uh, 10,000, isn't that's it? That's out yeah. of 10,000 registrations. Wow. So that's a pretty good number. Absolutely. Um, one thing that I would have noticed is that obviously young girls feel much more comfortable playing with their own sex and also being able to create teams amongst themselves and um, get the word out quickly. You know, the numbers grow really quickly compared to boys, I reckon. Yeah, well, when I was younger, it was a bit scary because there weren't so many girls' teams. Uh, actually, there were no girls' teams. It was only the women's. So I didn't have that opportunity to have fun with my, my friends when I was younger playing soccer because it was that was the boys' sport. And I do know girls did play, but... I played netball. And yeah, so now I love promoting the girls game amongst as many people as I can. And I, I love seeing the young girls running around in their own teams. I think that's that's just, that's pinnacle. So, Isn't it? Yeah. I, I agree with you totally there, Di. Uh, you're also um, part of the Warriors program too, which does have some female participants. Yeah, yeah. So we do have a couple of girls. We've got, this year we've got, I think, 31 players registered at this point with some more still to come. Um, we only have two girls registered, but we have had over the years six, I think six or seven girls, so that have been part of our program. Um, so yeah, always loving girls coming along to any sort of program. They're welcome anywhere, including the Warriors. Well, Di, looking back over all these years, football's been a big part of your life and still Absolutely. is. Absolutely, yeah, it is. Well, thanks very much for your time uh, telling us your experiences about female football in the St George area. Uh, we wish you, your family and the association all the best as we look forward to some more female participation in the ensuing years. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Di. Cheers. Thanks.